Hey guys, Francis here again. Um, last month in, in December, if you saw my um, my unboxing of the Lucky Tackle box for December, I had thought I got the Pro box, but I didn't. I got a regular box. So I thought I had upgraded from uh, regular Pro, and um, but that's not exactly what happened. I wound up a couple days later getting the Pro box. So um, I gotta fix that. Um, not quite sure when I'll get around doing that, but anyway. Um, so the Pro Box pretty much has exactly the same baits in as I got in the regular box. I think a lot of y'all will uh, find that true. But you probably saw in other videos that you had this um, big, huge um, uh, crankbait that goes down to like 20 feet. That's the only thing really different other than this other um, lure that was in the box, a like Spool Tech swim bait. I'll try to focus in on here and I'm going to go ahead and pull it out. And I was pretty impressed with it and I'll tell you why. I think it's going to be another game changer of a lure. And uh, after I did some more research, I learned these guys have been around for like two years. I never heard of them. But anyway, what it is is a swim bait and they give you an extra tail and um, so the tail comes on and off of this swim bait head and um, what's unique about this is when the fish grabs a hold of it the um, a leader comes out and this isn't just any leader this is like one of those stainless steel leaders and that way there's the physics of it and basically the hook gets hung in the fish's mouth and this uh, is outside the mouth and the fish cannot shake it off and so I was really impressed with this technology and the concept I'm so impressed that um, for Christmas I oh the other thing is it has a little pinwheel maybe not pinwheel but a little wheel that you turn and it resets the uh, hook so I don't know whether you can see it very well but it's the hook is um, getting itself driven back into the hard part of the um, swim bait head let me keep on turning and turning and turning and uh, getting close just a few more turns and uh, voila you're done you're uh, you've reset it to be used again so like I was saying um, got a couple of gift cards for Christmas and I used them to buy some more of these products I think I found them on Amazon and um, I've also found them on um, oh um, Bass Pro Shop okay so then um, I got some packages that came in and we're going to see the different ones I bought for different applications. So hang in there and let's do this. Okay, I'm back. We may have some other things in here too. And if I, uh, if, it, if it's what I think it is, I'll go over it. But let's uh, go ahead and open up this package. This is from one of the Amazon dealers. And what I was looking for, since I live on the coast, colors and baits that I could use uh, both for fishing bass and. Um, fishing inshore at the bayous where I go at. So I got a whole bunch of stuff here. Let's pull out the first one. These are, um, yeah, they're they're four inches. I bought some four inch and some six inches. So here's a neat color. Uh, let me just kind of dump them out in my lap here.
Okay, this is a uh, neat color here. Let's see if we can, I may have to pull these out, but they call this color um, After Hours. It's kind of really deep purple with uh, scales on it. Let's see if I can pull this out, maybe you can see it a little bit easier. focus in pretty good all right so you know that's gonna be for your darker stain colors this kind of has a uh, they're calling this perch which makes sense and uh, this is a four incher and this will be for fresh water um, here's a, a standard color we've all seen kind of a silver with blue on top again um, this is a four inch and they're calling this one a blue back hairy and here's one in a copper color that I was looking for. Uh, they call this Gold Digger. Again, it's a four inch model. I mean, yeah, four inches. And this next one is a, a standard um, color that we've all seen before and they're calling this Thread Fin. This will be for freshwater fishing. And here's another one. This is pretty dark. This is called Root Beer. It's kind of a Lord. I mean, it's kind of a dark, well, like a dark cola color with some gold flake in it. And again, used for uh, stained water and, and dark, darker water. So that came from uh, one of the uh, outfits from um, uh, Amazon, John B. Outdoors. So anyway, that's that. This next box came from uh, uh, Bass Pro Shop. So we'll open this one up. Are the bigger ones and I kind of got this for uh, inshore the bayous that I'm I, I fish at are really really stained really really dark so I got another one of the after hours the purple with fish scales on it and this is six inches and here's another one this is called gun smoke See if I can pull this out. It's kind of a dark grayish uh, swim bag with uh, gold flake on it. Um, here's another uh, six incher. They call this the electric lady fish. And from looking at a lot of uh, YouTube angler videos for inshore, they're using this color. Here's the one that's kind of close to that. This is called the uh, Great Sardini. It's kind of a, it's a dark back with a chartreuse side. And um, again, I picked this one up simply because from my YouTube research, um, they were using it for inshore. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to link down in the description below the uh, website for Spool Tech so you'll have access to a lot of neat videos, informational videos that uh, they're, uh, they put out. And then I put down some uh, links to some other YouTube anglers that are uh, using these for both bass and inshore. Now here's something else I bought. Um, and what they are, are just, I uh, forgot what they're called, it's the twist locks. I got some large, medium, and small, which I plan on um, using for uh, swim baits, and put little uh, trailers on some swim baits and stuff. But if y'all had seen um, one of the tactical bassin um, videos recently, Matt, 
had uh, shown a video on how another way to rig soft um, swim baits. So basically all he did was um, screw one of these in the nose of the swim bait and, uh, and then put the hook through the eye of the twist lock. So, and he said um, what he observed from uh, some videos that the fish were biting the swim bait head on. And so when that happens, the hook is already up like this in the proper position. And it kind of makes sense. So um, I bought these actually before his video came out. I was gonna do some other applications, but now after watching his video, which I'll put a link to down in the description below. Um, but folks, that's it. I just think that um, these uh, new swim baits could be a game changer. You know, the soft part usually wears out and, uh, you know, doesn't last long, but you can buy more of these tails. And when you buy them, or when you first get them, it's gonna feel uh, like it's really tough to initially get the hook out. What I had to do was take a pair of pliers and just very carefully pull it. And then after I did that, everything started working. So it's pretty tight, like a brand new car. Everything's real tight, right? But after a couple of years, things loosen up. Well, same thing with um, the uh, hook action on trying to wind it or, or rewind it back into the uh, head of the swim bay. Uh, once you uh, do it a couple of times, it's, it's not an issue. And I can't really tell, but it looks like my head's kind of fuzzy. So going back and forth, uh, I may be phasing in and out on focus, but please ignore that. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. I would like to get out in the water, give these, th give these guys a try, and, uh, and I'll let you know how I do. So until then, you guys take care, and I'll uh, see you next time around. I'm Francis Kiefel and I approved this video.